This is going to be a big one. Like Hood's a left-hander. He got 22 points in their opener against Davidson, an excellent wing. And then the glass. Rebounding is going to decide this thing. Kansas is a bigger team. Duke is going to have to hang with them on the glass. And then the last thing, I think, is the point guard matchup between Nadir Tharp of Kansas and Quinn Cook of Duke. Tharp is playing in his first game, regular season game of the year. He's suspended for the first one because he played in some unsanctioned summer league. But he's got he's to be able to run this team. He, he's the most experienced player on the floor, and he's got to act like it. What's going to be interesting, I really think this, Reese, when you look at free throws tonight being a factor in this game with Kentucky, this, you look at the second half of Kansas, their M.O., 15 for 27 to the free throw line, 55%, even though they won it all. But the other thing that hurt them last year, turnovers, like against Michigan, they still gave 16, uh, 16 turnovers away for 18 points for Louisiana. That cannot happen when you're looking at what you want to do against Duke because of transition points. If you're Wiggins, you must build the stat sheet. I know a lot of people are talking about him projected to be in the number one pick, and a lot of times fans attribute that to scoring. He has to get rebounds. He has to get assists, blocks, and steals. Be a very versatile performer. Have to be the kind of player that's willing to put his team on his back. I'm going to be watching this shot attempt. The way Randall was aggressive in the second half, that's the way Wiggins need to be aggressive from the beginning. All right, coming up. About half a minute away from the start of this game. Ten seconds each. Who wins the game? Wow, tough one. Duke Blue Devils. Yeah, I'm going with Duke. I just think their defense is going to show up in the transition because of Kansas turnovers will be an edge for Duke. I think Duke is more experienced. I think their matchup difficulties they can cause for Kansas will wind up being the difference. But they better rebound because Kansas right. is, a, is a big, strong, rebounding, good transition team. They're not the only two stars on the floor, but they are the dominant ones. Here you see Perry Ellis, but... Andrew Wiggins, America waiting to get a good look at him against Jabari Parker. Kansas and Duke coming up right now. They may be young, but... You're going to see a lot of good young talent. Expectations are high, but there's a reason why. You have to work hard together and make each other better. This could be as fun a group to be around as I've ever coached. Intangibles is what separates really good from great. Talent doesn't win. I'm not worried about expectations. This team has a chance to be really good. Let's have a great day today. There you go. You're going to have to come to work and work hard every day. I want to hear you. We got to be better than that. Let's go. We have a chance to be good. Get out there and play. Wake up. If you're going to do this the right way, you have to take ownership. Get out, get out. You want to help your team win and have an aggressive personality. Jamari Parker, Andrew Wiggins face off. Get after it. Let's go. The Rock George Jayhawk. Inside out. Inside out. The arrival of the Knight of Dan. And welcome to the second game here at the United Center in Chicago. The State Farm Champions Classic.